It's so nice to see all the folks you love together sitting and talking about all the things that's been going down. It's been a long, long time since we had a chance to get together. Y'all yeah, remember that? And nobody knows the next time we see each other. It may be years and years from now, a family reunion, a family reunion, family reunion. It's so nice to come together. To get together, I wish Grandma could see the whole family. Cause I show sure miss her face and her warm and tender embrace. And if Grandpa was here. I know he'd be smiling from ear to ear to see what he has done. All the offspring from his daughters and sons. Yeah, a family reunion. Oh, I love that song. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me. Your illustrious host, Khadija. All right. You know what, y'all? This video is not going to be long. But I got some stuff on my mind, family, that I really got to unload. Because if I don't unload it, it's, it's more room out than in. And I just can't keep it in. So the first thing I want to say is I want y'all to make sure that y'all observe that today is the National Day of Prayer. Okay? And if... Like I said, if this nation could get on one accord about anything, uh, at the, one accord, at the same time, at the same place, I mean, you don't know what kind of vibration that that's sending. But I can tell you this, it ain't negative. Um, it's like that song, good, 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 good vibration. That's what you're sending. You're sending good vibration. So if everybody could take this day and remember it is the National Day of Prayer. Let's observe that. Let's try to, you know, say, you know, prayer throughout the day at your job, in your cubicle, in your truck, um, on your, uh, in my case, when I'm, when I was walking the field, whatever that is, make sure you observe uh, what today is because it's very important. Very, very, very important that you acknowledge that today is the National Observance Day of Prayer. And so, um, I don't think the demons are going to pray at all. I don't even think that's part of their mantra. But if you believe in anything spiritual, and if you know that there's a spiritual force that's guiding all of us, and that at work for you, irregardless of your color, that there's a spiritual connection that at work for you, irregardless of your religion, your political affiliation, then I hope you join today and say a prayer for this nation because right now it's going to hell quickly in the handbasket in a rocket ship. Damn the handbasket. It's going in the damn rocket ship. So let's do our part today, okay, family? Mm. Okay. Now, y'all, listen, we just... Listen, listen, listen. We just have got to. I know we've been driven mad. I know a lot of us are mad. There's a lot of mental illness on the planet that nobody wants to deal with, okay? But, however, no, I'm going to take that back. We are getting a little bit more, um, 
how should I say, open to acknowledging that there is sometimes where you know we do feel full of anxiety or we do feel full of um, anger or whatever it is. Now, of course, I'm not talking to none of my church folks because they're going to tell me, just pray it away. You know how that goes. Jesus, 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 fix it. Jesus, Jesus. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about those of us who are, um, you know, proactive in dealing with our mental health. We got to keep on this kind of behavior. I saw two videos that were so disgusting. And um, each of them happened to be black people. Um which was so mentally ill, um, bad behavior, untrained, uncouth um, behavior that got to be addressed. Because all I could do was think about if my kids had to take the bus to school. And as a bus driver, this person is out here trying to make a living, trying to get my kids to and from school safe. And I respect her. And I have a lot of um, you know, admiration and respect for the people who take our children to and from this to the schoolhouse. So when I think of a person that would actually now I'm not that doesn't make the bus driver perfect and it doesn't make the bus driver's uh, mouth a prayer book. But what it does say is this person has a, a, a serious job. I mean, they're taking our most precious gifts, our most precious cargo, our babies, and you messing with them. This was some women. One was in St. Louis, and I think the other one was in New Jersey someplace. I'm not really particular about the cases because it's too sick. That these women would have have the nerve with children on the bus to go on the bus. One of them dragged the bus driver off the bus and beat her down. Um, and the other one, they just whooped her ass on the bus. Now, what I'm trying to say, y'all, is that's a problem. There is nothing that my kid, my child could tell me that would make me think that their mouth is a damn prayer book that I'm going to take whatever my child says verbatim without even trying to investigate the situation a little further. See, that's what's wrong with y'all. Some of y'all that, this is what's wrong with y'all who have had babies too early. You a kid yourself and you probably still got a teacher you mad at. You ain't made amends with that teacher did you wrong or whatever. So now you living vicariously through your kid. So now every time your kid tell you something crazy, and then they get to the point where your kid know just how crazy you are. And so if they want the teacher to get hurt, they'll tell your, your silly self something for you to come to the school and act a pure D fool or do what these particular women did, decide to beat the bus driver up. Well, let me say this too to the to the to the um the the people that were not arrested yet. One of them was, but uh, person in St. Louis. Last time I checked, they hadn't been apprehended. But you know, you got other people' kids on that bus. See, and you can't be exposing my kid to the kind of madness that go on in your house in your world, and think I'm going to side with you. Anytime you don't have no as a parent, no feel for nobody else's kid on the bus. You going to go and beat the bus driver up, not thinking that you traumatizing my child who has nothing to do with your mental illness. And you don't think that's a problem, baby? Y'all, we need to do better. We need help. And we need to check out our mental state. Because this is not normal. Okay, this is trauma. This is what happens when people deal in trauma. This is the kind of behavior we have. Okay? I don't care what color you are. If you traumatize, this this make that makes sense to you. Okay? If that's normal to you, then you come on on this side of the room because you need some work. All right? All right. With that being said, I want if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.